today I'm excited to have a drummer, a petroleum engineer, the creator at Excel Moments on YouTube. Oh, you got a drumstick over there. <laughs> ah, yes, I do. Ready? <laughs> you ready? Okay. All right. Yes. Mr. Gonna flog crap data. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're going to paradiddle it to death. You know, right? Oh, you know what the paradiddle is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We got Mr. Victor Momo all the way from Lagos, Nigeria. And wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. Yeah, it's that, a pleasure yeah. really to be here. Yeah. Yeah. And you you're the first person I mentioned this to. Okay, that, yes. <laughs> I feel so privileged, right? <laughs> yes. So now you're here. So you are here for a challenge and I've sent you the workbook. And yep. so the goal here is not to come up with something crazy, wild. It's real okay. world. We are standing at the welcome mat by your ear and we're knocking on the door and we want to be taken inside your mind as you saw mm. this challenge yes yes yeah, that would be nice to see i'm, yeah. I'm curious and <laughs> yes. curious at the same time. <laughs> so go ahead and okay. share your screen and open the challenge okay so let me see here um hello that's my clothes and the Okay, the dreaded nightmare of walking the closing sheet and returning the next day for the new sheet. Mm, yeah, yeah. That that hardly ever works. Yeah. Okay, so um calculate the total for each person who end. Okay. Hmm. So okay, so if the person walked, let me see. They calculate the total of who end clopun money. Okay, so you closed. And then you walk the next day. Okay, so those are the guys who are eligible for uh, some money, I guess. Uh, so, well, you tell me if I'm wrong or right. So, $65 oh, yeah. if a person clopon at the same location. Wow. And yeah. $70. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Oz. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. This, this is by no means easy. <laughs> oh, okay, so okay. It's not easy, no. Uh, okay, so let's see. So what you've done here is um you've put the morning, you've put the afternoon, you've put the evening, right? Okay. So let, let me be sure I understand it. I know already I see this is in one column. So obviously, well, you have to do something here, whether text to columns or text split. But that needs to happen, definitely. Right? So I can see morning, afternoon, evening separately. Okay. So um let me look for an example where somebody actually did like evening and morning. I'm looking through and... I honestly can't see any. Am I? Are there more? Let me go down. Sorry, control down. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Mm. And what's well, with the, okay the day? Okay. Okay. Same. Okay. So day one. Day one. And yes, we got see that. two two different locations. Okay. Old Town okay. and Twenty Eight. Okay. Makes sense right? now. Makes sense now. So obviously, so here Gail worked evening on day one, and then morning on day two. Yeah. Yeah, so Gail obviously will get, uh, well, again, it now depends on is it same location or <laughs> is it a different right. one. So in this case, uh, because it's the same one, so he'll get $65. Uh, then if it was a different one, he's going to get 90 Uh So now let's think about it. It's not the, it's not the most interesting thing. Hmm. Okay, so, well, the first thing I know I need to do is this whole thing for the fact that you have all the data morning, afternoon, evening in one column. I know I need to break that apart first. So let me do that, you know, first while I think. Right. <laughs> because I don't okay. have any ideas yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use a text split. Um, except you've thrown some things in there that I am not seeing. But that's fine. I think I can do that and I can use like a space column space. That seems like the delimiter. Um, okay. So that's that. That's the problem with spill that is. You have to drag down, right? Mm -hmm. Double click. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready to write some funky uh, text split that can spill. Okay, so now I have this. Um, okay. So now the next thing is I need to be checking more or less like, you know, evenings and, you know, mornings. The good thing is that you have the day number, right? 
So it's more like if you have evening on a day and you add one to that day and person is in the morning on that, Ooh. then wow, that, that, that may, that seems like, you know, what I'm thinking yeah. in my head. Yeah. That like, since you have the day, so it's kind of like, you know, so I, I really, I think I should only be concerned. Well, but no, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I probably just need to pick one of them. I know I'm, I'm thinking much more than I thought I would. Okay, so let me let me. Do you want me to just go ahead and try what it is I, I'm thinking about? <laughs> that that's up to you. Yeah, even though I have no ideas now. Okay, so so what I'm thinking is this. Let me just explain my thought process. I feel that for this one, I can see that this is the one, right? You know. Um, but the thing is, because of the way you have the data, I could decide also to, you know, make my life easy and you know just sort it and sort it by. Uh, what's it called? Maybe sorted by sight, but you know, um, it, it may come with its own tricks. But what I'm thinking of doing is, um, once I know the day that this is, which is day one, I kind of, you know, look this up on the day plus one. So meaning that if Gail is in the evening on the first, I will try to get what is in the morning on the second, you know, and if it's the same thing, then, um, you know, and that's it. But mm -hmm. the question is, because of the way it's sorted, I'm just thinking, okay. Yeah, so if it's the same locations, I need to check if it's in day two and if the location is the same, you know. Okay. <laughs> well, this is not yeah. fair. Uh, let, me, let me see what I come up with, first of all. So just do like a visual inspection of, um, okay, so let me see. Okay, so now you don't just have two locations, right? So you have, yeah. Again, I could figure that out maybe using like, you know, like a unique on this. Mm. Yeah, well, just just checking. Okay, so at least that tells me that there are three locations. Okay, so, well, that's fine because I was already assuming that it was just one, one, two, two, three, three, you know. <laughs> but now, because one other thing I wanted to do easily was just to say, okay, fine, just, you know, check this. How many? Okay, this is a count of. This is, you know, 48. I was trying to just do like a division in my head to right. see if it's 48, then I should have 24 days. You have only two locations. But the fact that you have day 20, you know, that already tells me something. Okay, so let me see. That's one. Uh, the site looks like it's clean. Um, doesn't seem like there's anything that is unique already tells me <laughs> what it is I have. Okay, so now let me now see for this one. Morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, what do I see? Is there anything that could be out of place here? What tricks has us up his sleeve? We'll find out. <laughs> All right. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, let me see, because I need to do a lookup in my head. But because of the um, location twist to it, you know, then... I don't know why I'm not thinking of writing an E. Just being so, you know, I, again, let me explain this. I like the fact that we're here. Is I'm always thinking of, you know, writing everything in one cell. You know, that that's that's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. If I decide to use helper columns here, which I think would help my life, you know, mm -hmm. I probably would be able to solve it easily. But I'm thinking, my mindset is more on the, oh, how can I do this in one place, you know? <laughs> and mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, okay, so let me uh try uh this so so this is what i'm thinking if i do a lookup of gale okay so i do a lookup of gale i know this day then um so let me see so if i do it up it's not supposed to be that difficult um okay so let me see where i'm thinking about it and i'm thinking in just one direction if I feel that that doesn't work, I'll change my I'll change my thoughts to the, Um So I'm thinking it's really just the evening and the morning, the afternoon for all intents and purposes is redundant. So I would even take this column out if I wanted in my mind based on this exercise. So what I'm just trying to check is um, I look at the day and then I try to see. Hmm, okay. 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 So let me let me see something here. I, I thought of something else. So let me try the filter. Doesn't look like what I should use. 
but let me let me explain what I'm trying to do here. Okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to filter and return uh, the data for the day after. So 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 what I mean is that okay. So let let me show you what I mean. So I want to filter. Let's see. I'm filtering. Um, hmm, but now. Um, okay. Yeah, this is what I was trying to do. I want to filter this, you know, and the criteria I want to include here is where, um, what's it called? Where this D here is equal to, you know, this plus one. So, so what I'm trying to do, what I'm thinking about here is that if I'm on day one, I'm interested in everything on day two. Um, sorry, let's see what this gives me. Okay, so this is telling me that on day two, you know, I have two names, Gail and Titus, okay, which is which is this. So I'm using, so I'm now, okay, so now I see that, but now the location also needs to come in, right? So I now right. need to test. Yeah, right, so right. if I have this. Yeah, because Gail, yeah, yeah. Gail opened in old, closed in old town, old town, mm -hmm. and then opened in Open. old town. So she'd get the $65. E exactly. But you then Aniset closed 28th street and then yes. opened in old town. She gets e the $90. Exactly. Right. Yes. So, so that's, that's, that. So I, so I need to then, you know, you know, check that. So, um, so let me see. So I need to bring in the location in here, you know, some way. Um, so let me see the easiest way to do that. <laughs> I'm going about this the hard way, I know. <laughs> but well, I'm here. So I'm going to do like I want to stack up, you know, this with the um um I want to stack up this with the uh, what's it called? The site or something. Let me see. Let me see what I get. So backspace. I think I just need one more bracket. I close the bracket here. Sorry, I'm not looking at my keyboard properly. Uh, yes, yeah, so I close this one. Yeah, you did better than me on this. Uh, <laughs> it didn't work. So let's see. Oh, no, sorry, it's an H stack. I meant, uh, I need to relax. So, uh, huh? wow. So now, okay, so now I have here and you know this. Okay, and then do do do. Okay, so it's more like, yep. So if I have this table internally, then I could do a lookup, you know, of Gil. Yeah, yeah, something like. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see, what did I return? Yeah, I did an H stack. Okay, no, but do I need to do an H stack? I don't need to do an H stack. I think I need to do a concatenate. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to do a concatenate. Go like Victor. Thought you would have solved this in two minutes. I'm like, yes, I thought so too. But it's nine thirty in Nigeria. Uh, <laughs> nine thirty p.m. Yeah, p.m. Right. Okay. So something like this. Okay. So now I have Gail Old Town. Okay. So now that I have this, I would um, yeah. So I want to do like so. I'm kind of looking up. So I want to look up here. Yeah, I want to look up Gail and um. You know, Gail and uh, D, something like this. So concatenate that, check it in, you know, whatever this is. Um, okay, so and then if if I get it, what do I then do? So what so what do I return? Let me see. Uh, okay, if I do that, oh, sorry, so if I do that, look up this. Well, let me just return the same thing. Um. Just to see what's going on. Hmm. Doesn't work. Let me go back. Control Z. Okay. So Gale and Old Town. Okay. Well, let me put this aside and let me do a look up here. Hmm. So if I do this and light is not so good. Okay. All right. And then I look it up. I think I had it here, right? Okay. So let's see. And then so you look up this and then you can kind of return the same thing. Let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, so why did it even work the first time? Okay, so, well, this, 
So this tells me because I can find it, uh, then it means well it's worked. Let, let me let me take that. So but now I want to be able to do it in one place, right? Because that's the whole idea. So I'm wondering why <laughs> why did it work when I did like everything together? Um, okay, so let me let me try that again. So let me do. Sorry, let me take the function I have in here. So this is like. I hope you still follow my thoughts anyway, even mm -hmm. though yes. it doesn't look like it doesn't look like the doesn't yeah. look like the way I should go, but I think I'm stuck on this part, so I'm just gonna go on. But if it gets too long, then <laughs> we'll stop the video and re-record. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that, that that kind of works for what I was thinking about. Uh so let me see what's wrong with the other things. Okay, yeah, I think I need to lock some of my ranges. Uh yeah, so let's just Let's just look the wrapping. Okay. Yeah, we do the same thing. Um, here we do everything. I just want to see if this works, then I can think through it in a different way. But uh, let's see first of all. Okay. Okay, so uh so let's see. And then let's take this down. Still doesn't okay, so well. Let, let's see. It's probably a case of, well, if, if it's, if it finds it, it's what it is. If it doesn't find it, it's not what it is. So let me see if that makes sense. So here, this is Gretchen. And then, have I taken care of the fact that it's morning, right? I, I think I did that already. Okay. Okay. So this is Gretchen. This doesn't work. So let me see here. Why does this one return something for me if this is correct? Okay. This is Z. So Z is here on the 28th. Okay. Yeah. And not, then, not Z. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Right. It's not, Z, Z is not Z. Uh, yes, yeah, Z, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah. So Z is um, here on the fourth, working the night shift. And then Z works morning on the fifth. Okay. So, which is why I guess it finds it. Okay. Let me try the next one here. So, this one. So, Gretchen here. This is on the ninth. Okay. Then Gretchen is on the tenth. Okay. So, now that I have this, it's now probably really a case of, um, you know, being able to say old town or, um, you know, um, what's it called? So, so what I think makes sense now. So what was I supposed to get? The total for each person. Okay. So do you want to just see that like paru or you want to have like a subtotal where you have Gail ends this trial period or, you know, okay. just. Okay, so do you want to scroll down and see how the other ones did? The ones that have the three. Okay, let's let's see. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's see that. So this one, um, for for sure, because I, I, again, the problem with these last three is the fact that I'm comparing against the twenty one, which doesn't exist, right? Right. Because my my logic is, you know, this is day twenty look at the next day, so which is 21. So I guess that's the reason for the cow. So right. let's look for one within the read land, see if that works. This one seems to work because at the end of the day, really, I think it doesn't really matter now with my logic whether there are four cities or five cities. The most important thing is that because I say it should be on the next day, if I'm on day 16 and I use my filter, my filter will return everything on day 17, right? So it's then going to check if it can find it within. So let's look at this one and see if it makes sense. Um, so this one here, you have Nana on the uh, 17th, and then you have here Nana on the 18th, morning and night. So beautiful. Uh, it, 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 it feels like it, it does work. So I'm just using the day to say, okay, fine, if I'm on day one, then filter for me day two. If you find the name, because I'm using the morning or the next day, yes. find the name there, then then it, it should work irrespective of the, uh, uh, what's it called, how many locations you have. So if yes. I want to even get cocky, I can add a different location for you. I think it will work, but let me not get too confident after I have been dealt with today. So um, <laughs> so now, <laughs> now that this works, so maybe back to my question. So how do you want to see the totals? Maybe on each row, we then need to see... Um, you want to see on that row, Gail end 25, this person end this, and maybe okay. so on. So let's say oh. I'm the person who's sitting here waiting to just write checks. So we okay. see Gail did it. Okay. I want to know yes. how much should Gail's check be? How much should Z's check be? Uh, okay. Reno. Oh, Reno okay. is okay, tied up in this. Okay. So I don't even want to know about Reno. 
Okay, all right. So, okay, so then, okay, so that's fine. So, what I think I would do at this stage is, I, of course, I, I, I did something not too elegant, you know, uh, but at that point, I just needed to do a lookup. Is um, what makes sense because, again, now I need to now be able to break out Old Town from the name, right? <laughs> you know, so that I can get the amount. But because I concatenated without a delimiter, then that becomes, you know, a challenge, right? So mm -hmm. what makes sense is to kind of put, you know, um, a delimiter in there somewhere. So what I'm going to do is here, you know, I'm just going to put an underscore. And the only reason for the underscore is so that, um, you know, so for there, on the filter side here, yeah. you know, I need to also put an underscore, right? Just so that I can, um, you know, find my way out at the end of the day. Yeah. I'm so sure that at 10 a.m. in the morning on another day, I'll solve it differently. Okay, so, <laughs> but now I have, you know, I have this, okay? Right. Um, yeah, so you could decide again with the X lookup if you don't like um, seeing all this. I think if I just go to the last argument or the next argument and say maybe a blank or something, maybe a zero, let's see if this kind of makes it neater. Ooh. Yeah, so um, if it's not found, you know, so you get this. So at least this kind of, you know, maybe cleans it up a little for me. Wow. Um, so now that I have this, um, yeah, I'm using helpers here. So I can then, you know, break it out. So, but the easy thing I think is to have a small lookup table on the side where you have, you know, your city and the, uh, or the location and the amount, right? So, I mean, I would just do like old town here. Sorry, I think my cases are off. Um, so I can do old town. Well, it's going to be case sensitive. And you said, um, Okay, oh, sorry, 65 if it's at the same location. Oh, sorry, sorry about that, sorry about that. So if it's if that's the case, then I probably didn't need to do what it is I did, you know. Uh, the, the point is just I need to compare the location, you know, <laughs> the location here <laughs> with the location I'm in. I think that's really what it is right, I right. needed to Cause, do. <laughs> right, because because right now what you have yes. is everybody who gets the $65. You get the people who closed and then opened at the same place um not necessarily oh, okay. right oh well, well, oh well you may be right you may be right if that's the case then i've, I've done about this uh yeah it, it looks like right let's see one example where the they opened yeah you're right you you seem i think you're right but my logic doesn't seem like that's what should happen and a, um, set, and a set is an example on day two and three. Okay, let's let's see that. Oh, okay, so she's she's here. Okay, but she's so she's supposed to get this. Uh -huh. Yeah. So let she, me see. She gets the ninety dollars. Yeah, she should get it. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, so let let me let me think about it again. Okay, so oh. let, let let's 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 think about this again. So when I did my ex lookup, I was trying to get you know, for the next day. Oh, okay. So I think it's it's my mistake. By already putting in the uh the city as part of the lookup, um, I think I automatically set myself up right. So it would only find the ones that are in the same city. That's the that's the problem here. So so the point is yes, because I said look up Gale and Old Town. So it's only going to find the one on Gale and Old Town on the next day. But what I really need is, you know, Gail, find it irrespective. Okay, so it kind of looks like, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so let's let's take another stab at that. So now I'm going to do a filter. Yeah. Oh. So let's take. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's let's. You do it you again. are bold. You are bold to type over <laughs> a phone formula that was already working. Okay. <laughs> Well, you, you kind of feel in your head like, well, you know, you, you probably can't do it, right? <laughs> okay, so, well, let, let me let me just get this. Sometimes you, you want to just clear your head and like, uh, do it. okay, so you want to test where uh, this is equal to, you know, this plus one. Okay, so, yeah. So let me take everybody else out. Don't worry about that. Okay, so now I think I will be interested in, let me take it to one of those places where um, it's a little tricky. So this is day two now. Let me assume I'm here. So what does this do? Okay, so if I'm here, 
So it's checking, yes. So even though Anna said it's in 28th Street here, on, on the next day she's in Old Town, but it, it returns her name, you know, because now I'm not looking up the city. Um, okay, so I think that was where I, I kind of got that. Okay, so now that I have this now, um, so the question now is, is it in the same city or is it in a different city? Mm -hmm. So maybe with this, okay, yep. Okay, so um, it's, yeah, it's probably, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's still here, let's still do something. Let's still do this. Let's still concatenate with the cities. Let's still do this. Why am I pressing the wrong? I'm trying to press down. Okay, so, okay. So we kind of do that. Let me see what happens here. Okay, so Gale Old Town, Titus, um, 28th Street. Okay, fine. But, yes, so it returns this to, so the question now is, is it in the same, is it in the same city? Okay. So if it's in the same city, then, you know, fine if it's not. Okay. So, but two things I need to test. I need to test that the name, it found the name, then it's the city. So it's not a case of, uh, so oh, let me see. Mm, 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 mm. No. I take one step backwards. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, instead of doing the underscore, let me just return the city. I think, I think the point is, yeah, why do I have, why do I have titles here though, first of all? Maybe I need to understand that. So, okay, I just did a filter on the next day. Okay. So I filtered on the next day. So the next thing is to test if it's, you know, the same. Yeah, I, I get, I, I know what I want to do, but I'm not sure what exactly I need to do to get it. So what I'm, what I'm trying to do here is, um, so I've gotten Gale and Titus. Okay. So maybe what I just do is, why not I just look up Gale in this, okay, but then return the city. Uh, that, that seems like the logical thing. Okay, so what I did here was fuel to this. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, I think, I think. Ugh, man, what a night. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's try again. <laughs> so I'm going to do my X lookup. I think I'm stuck on, I think I'm stuck on my approach. And maybe just to talk through it, that may be a lesson for some people. Sometimes you may need to think a different way out, right? If this doesn't look like it's working. But well, here I'm doing what maybe you shouldn't do. <laughs> Which is yeah. like, you know, you know, like I, I, I always feel it can work. So let me see. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the same filter, but this time I'm just trying to return the CD. So instead of doing, um, you know, here where I did E, I'm going to do a C. I don't want to drag the ranges over because, sorry, we see, okay. And then let's see. Okay. So I want to see if it gives me, um, so let, let me see what it gives me first of all. Okay. So it gives me, it gives me old town. Okay. So let me take this down for me to return anything here. Right. It means that, well, if the name must be equal, I guess, because I figured that part already. So let me just ask you, but you will now let me know if mm. I'm right. Well, it's now about, so let me just fix my X lookup anyway, first of all. Yeah. See why I never want to go for like the model of. So let, let, let's see now if this makes sense. Okay. <laughs> okay. So okay. now here, yeah. um, so she's in, so she's in 28th street here, but it's old town. She's returning here. Okay. So, but I'm just trying to be sure that I'm getting the cities now. Um, so yeah. now that I think I'm getting the cities, then it's now a case of really just testing if that city is equals to the one, you know, you have there. Right. So because it's kind of like saying here now, I can kind of do like, OK, and if, you know, and say if what I have returned is the same as this, you know, then you, you said it's 65 in the same location. OK, so I will say 65. Then if not, I'll say 90. So that's kind of it. Um, so then oh. uh, take that down. OK, but now hold on. So uh, but again, the, the challenge is where it's. Um, it's blank, right? So I need I need to fix that first. Okay, so I could say 
maybe just put an if outside of it. First of all, okay, so let me let me just go back one step. Let me step back once. Yeah. But the 65 is going to work. But the point is, you know, when when this is blank. Okay, so yeah, so it's that part I need to handle. I'm trying not to use a um, you know, elect, you know, but it's looking like, you know, I may want to use that. Sorry, my ways are my ways are different. Uh, so it, let me let me. It's something. all up to you. I'm <laughs> I'm just sitting here ready to write the checks. <laughs> you will write it eventually, right? Okay, so I'm I'm making that a you know. So now I'm going to say if you know a is blank, that person doesn't get anything. Pretty much is zero. Okay, then after that, it's now about if um you know a is equals to you know this city here. Then the cities are the same. Then it's a 65. If not, it's a 90. Something like that. Let me see. So I close the bracket here. Uh, for that, close this. I close the let. So let's do a 65. Let's see if we have zeros in the other places. So I think, <laughs> yeah. So I think that's that. So now that you have this, then it's kind of really more like um, you know, we just need the names here in the evening and the amount. So what I can do is. If I do a unique, let's say, for example, of these names, yeah, you know, I get I get all this. I could on the side. Sorry, if I can, if I can take this out. Yeah, yeah, just uh, yeah, move okay. those out of <laughs> the okay, way. So, yeah, we we need yeah. to see the joy. Yeah. <laughs> so if, if I once I get the names here this way, then it's really just um, you know, you you could do like a sum if, you know, so it's kind of like. Um, you are summing the amounts, you know, where the name is, um, uh, you know, whatever it is. Uh, but many people don't use the sum. If maybe you could also still use a filter just because you want to be stubborn. And it seems like the title right. of this video is going to be making filter work by force. So uh, what I was doing here was this is like a unique list. I could do two things at this point, really. You know, I, I could just filter out, you know, everywhere it's not equals to zero here, first of all, you know, and then you know, kind of do a sum. But what I'm trying to do here is get out the unique list of the names. So these are all the names you have on that list. And then now do like a sum of, you know, their amounts and see, um, you know, what it is that I get. So again, I could use the filter and say filter where the name is scale and sum the amount. But um, maybe some people may prefer if you use like, you know, maybe a sum if or some ifs. Okay, so let's try a sum ifs. So now we look at the sum range. So I'm going to sum these amounts here, right? Um, control backspace should bring them back. Okay. Then the criteria range is this. Okay. Which is all the names. Okay. Control backspace. And uh, then here, the criteria is if, you know, the name here. So I could decide to do this. I could decide to select the whole thing. I think with the sum ifs, it does work with these field arrays. Um, so let's see. Uh, what happened there? Why is this one showing a value error? Uh, uh, this shouldn't. This looks like it should work. Okay, let's let's stop. Let's do it at I two first of all and see what happens. What, what happens? Now I range the same H two to H forty nine. Then did I get that right? So this is the sum range. This is the criteria, and this is the the name. So is there anything wrong with that? Doesn't look like there's anything okay. wrong. Everything looks. You know, fine, but okay. If that doesn't work, I'm not trying to think of why it's not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a filter. I'm going to filter the amounts, okay, and then I'm going to check if the name. Uh, mm -hmm. In this case, I'm going to check if the name is equals to Gil. It's going to give me all the amounts for Gil. You know, okay. So I think it's the calc error that's throwing that up. Okay, so I see why that's happening. Okay, so it's one way at the bottom here. So maybe what I could have done. Yeah, because um, this doesn't return anything pretty much, right? Right. Um, so, yeah. So what I could do is maybe find a way to fix the calc error, um, you know, before doing the before doing the sum. So I think the sum if should work. So, but I just need to fix the, the calc error. In the filters, you know, we could decide and put zeros or something, you know, for the last argument of the filter. Uh, let me see if that kind of solves some of this problem. Okay, so let's see. I want to try a zero as opposed to a blank. Okay. Let me just see what that does. Okay. 
So, but let, let me let me take this up and see what it does to the rest of them. Okay, I think it looks like it's fine. Uh, okay. Okay, so, yeah, you may not be interested in those people you don't need to pay. <laughs> those are the ones that are zeros. <laughs> you probably don't, you probably don't need those ones. You probably just need the guys that, uh, you know, you need to pay something to, first of all. But that's, you know, my first, yeah. you know, that's my first logic. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All but, right. But but this was not um you know it, it wasn't as smooth as I expected but uh -huh. it, it, again it, again for me it's like you know this is kind of what it is like in the real world sometimes you know like where you 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 have an idea I, again you may look and say people watching too would say yeah this guy is so stubborn you know he was stuck on his ex lookup and his filter you know but mm. at the back of my mind I knew it was going to work it was really maybe more a case of you know, how do I get this to work? I know it's going to work. Yeah. You know, um, but but it's now about how I get it to work. So I'm just trying to think now and say, um, so this is fine. I think the way I've written it, I think it's dynamic in the sense that if anything changes, if Gail happens to not be the person here, for example, let me just say this changes to Oz. Uh, okay. Boom. So, yeah, but now, okay, so we can yeah. do some filters here to take care of this, but, you know, game is out and all of that. But, but just to be sure that, you know, some things okay. still... Okay, would yeah, you no, need no, the, you want me to? No, no, yeah. would you need the, the space? I don't know if the colon space makes oh, okay. it... Okay. What, what do you have there? You have a space, right? Okay, well, I yeah. need to do a space for us. Right. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's just do this. Okay. all right all right yeah okay cool. for the name right okay yeah right. that's what you're referring to yeah yeah, yeah. Um, okay okay so so in in that case um, yeah so now the question now would be you know how else how else would one have solved it oh okay so <laughs> so you've got a solution and i'm ready to write the check but you're still looking for refinement <laughs> oh yeah yeah you know just you know, sometimes you feel like, come on, you know. Well, if I go into my typical victim mode, you know, I'll be here, you know, trying to make it work and make it so neat, make it one cell, you know, and have everything spill. But I'm uh -huh. like, okay, I think at this point, <laughs> you've got something that works and it's yeah. not the worst thing. The only thing I may not like here, personally, may be the fact that uh, for the person paying, right, I don't think he needs to see that titosis you know, zero, right? Like, like and, what's the point? And, it, and it's not a big deal. We got yeah, an answer. Yeah, it isn't, you know. We yeah, got, you got an, an answer. answer. Yeah, at least. Yeah. But, he, but so that he doesn't waste a check leaf and write zero on it and say. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so, but again, that that's just um, trying to, um, you know, update it more than what it should be. So um, sometimes, you know, um, because this is not just, or coming here and solving the questions it's also being able to you know discuss sometimes why we think the way we think yeah you know yes I, I'm yes always, exactly so so if um if i look at myself relative to a lot of other people maybe today is one of the few days i used maybe more helper columns in my mind you know than maybe i would normally use but i didn't really use the helper per se because with this already i i technically already got the uh you know, the amounts, but then I now have to come here. So now, so the, the problem here for me is the fact that my mindset is always like, you know, Victor, you can do this in one place, you know, whereas mm -hmm. some other people always think like, no, no, let's break this out, you know, and really see, you know, what's going on. And sometimes that systematic, uh, you know, you know, breakout of things, you know, helps you to really see things. And, you know, you may be able to solve it faster than I would, you know, then you may now look at how you can piece it all together, maybe into one, um, you know, sell if you choose to do that, or if right. you feel you are okay with the helper cells and you can hide them. You know, but I was coming from this mindset of okay, well, it's one data set really. Whether there are three names, whether there are two names, you know, four names, five names, I should be able to handle it with one formula. So that that was kind of you know how I was thinking, and I guess that's why um, you know. So so I expect that anybody who goes in a different route will finish it before I do. <laughs> but okay, <laughs> in truth. I, okay. I feel so. I feel so. You know that the person would finish it. Yeah, but if I if I want to do it now, now that I've solved it, yeah, I'm gonna do it. You know, like in five minutes or three minutes, I'm done. But this is what happens. You know, you yeah. see a problem and well, you think, okay, I can try this. 
If it doesn't work, I would say change it. Mm -hmm. But I think, again, in truth, with experience and having done some of these things so many times, I was cocksure that it was going to work. Okay. It may not have been the best solution. It may not have been the most elegant. It may not have been in the model of type time. But the point was, I was sure that, see, this is some filter X logo, you know, it will work. I believe it's, it's in Guerrilla Data Analysis 3 where I wrote about owning your style, mm -hmm. you know, because um, we have the ways that we work. You remind me of when I wrestled. So there was Cletus Swopes. He and I were in the same weight class, like from seventh grade all the way up to graduating in 12th grade. And I could not beat Cletus. But <laughs> there were people that I had pinned in less than a minute. Mm -hmm. And then Cletus would go wrestle him and he would wrestle all three periods and win maybe 10 to like judges. Yeah. <laughs> Right. OK. But I had my style and Cletus had his style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah. think people would expect that you would take him out in one minute. Right. Because right. If, if you beat an opponent in one minute, he faces that same person. He's not able to get rid of the person in one minute. Mathematically, you should, you know, defeat him. Right. Yeah. But then it just doesn't work. Yeah. So but I think, you know, you know, own your style. No. Uh, maybe sometimes to the limitations of it and and um, don't be too rigid I would say that as right. much as I can be sometimes you know but um, my my rigidity if I use that word is based on maybe knowledge and experience thank you again I really <laughs> appreciate this and we will see each other on LinkedIn and on YouTube